the unknowns, not knowing how many people are coming, we could exhaust our resources really quick. We are counting down to the total eclipse now less than a month away. Kendall County, the latest to issue a disaster declaration ahead of next month's total eclipse. At least three other counties in central Texas, along with the hill country that are in the path of totality, have already issued disaster declarations. They include Bell County, Travis County, and Kirk County. While we are familiar with what a disaster declaration means for wildfires or maybe even severe weather, what do they mean when it comes to an eclipse? These for San Antonio, Stephanie Esquivel is getting answers tonight from local officials. Issuing a disaster declaration ahead of next month's eclipse is a proactive measure Kendall County officials are taking to ensure enough resources are available in case of an emergency. We're not going to be able to rely on our regular mutual aid partners because they're coming from counties that are experiencing the same issues we are. So it just gives us a little bit better avenue to reach out for the state for additional resources or supplies or things like that should we need them. Emergency Management Coordinator for Kendall County, Jeff Fink, says he wants to be prepared for any emergency that could arise. They're projecting hundreds of thousands of people possibly coming to the Hill Country, um, you know, and not experience in this in the past. We really don't have an idea. Kirk County has also made a disaster declaration and with the masses expected for April's total eclipse, emergency management coordinator for Kirk County, William Thomas, says the county is also preparing for a shortage of necessities. We've ordered some fuel, both diesel and gasoline, mobile fueling stations, basically to uh, in the event that I-10 becomes blocked and uh, people start running out of fuel. Specifically, Kirk County is asking for additional medical supplies, fuel, and water, just in case they are needed. Both Kendall and Kirk counties have spent years preparing for the eclipse and the mass of people it's expected to bring. We've conducted several tabletop exercises in anticipation of scenarios or things that may happen. Anyone who is traveling to the Hill Country for the totality experience is also encouraged to come prepared. Bring plenty of food, water, whatever um, necessities you're going to need while you're here. Uh, just so we don't put too much strain on on the food and the fuel supply. Stephanie Esquivel, News 4, San Antonio.